Hey guys, what is going on? My name is VK and welcome to Phenomenal Creations and this is Season 2. So guys, today we're gonna kick in with a really cool effect. If you remember my first video on my channel, it was a holographic screen. Not a really good one, but it still was one. So today I'm gonna kick in with a really similar one. Today I'm gonna show you how to make an advanced human hologram inside After Effects. Alright, so now we have seen it and let's go create it. So right now inside After Effects I have brought all my footage inside it and now it's time to create a cool hologram. So the first thing to do is to, uh, to get your footage, some new composition and let's go ahead and key out our green screen footage. I have a whole video dedicated on how to key out green screen footage from green screen to blue screen so if you haven't checked it, check it down below, links. And if you do know how to key out footage, good for you, if you don't, if you don't know check out the video. So let's go ahead and key out this one. So guys, once we have made a clean key out of our footage, it's time to start to make this effect a bit more holographic. So the first thing to do is to make it completely black and white. How do we do that? There's two main ways. You can use a hue and saturation effect layer or a tint play effect. You can use either one, but I'm gonna for demonstration purposes use this hue and saturation one. So here in effects presets I just type in hue and just drag the hue and saturation to your green screen footage and then drag the master saturation all the way down to zero. That will create take every color information from your video to none, so it's completely black and white. Next thing to do is to jump back to your project panel and there we can see our green screen footage comp layer, as my comp is named here. And what we do is go ahead and drag it to the new comp button. What? Yes! So what we're gonna do is we have made a duplicate for our original comp. And why we do that seems a bit strange, but you'll understand just in a second. So as we can see here, we have just duplicated it. And now let's go ahead and add a new blue solid just like this one. Take a really nice blue solid and how to create a solid, hit Control y Command y or go to Layer, New Solid, you know the drill. Let's go ahead and change the mode to Soft Light. And once we have done that, we get a nice cool soft blue there. And remember, the, the color of the solid is the color of your hologram. So choose your color wisely. So now, <laughs> I'm really happy about this, but Let's go ahead and pre-comp these two layers. How to do that? Command Shift C or Control Shift C and to pre-compose and call it for example blue. And then what we do is we go ahead and take our green screen footage to or the black and white one and put it just on top of this. So we have a blue background but um, our main guy is black and white. And then change the track mat from the blue one to alpha mat and boom. Now your guy is totally blue and all the information from the blue background is on top of your layer. So this is pretty cool. And now we have done that part. So the next thing to do is to put this on our effects footage. So my effects footage, I mean, I have just a footage where I want to put my effect on. So here we can see I have my phone as you saw in the example. And let's go ahead and drag our green screen footage 3 which is now our the blue layer and what to do is to just to scale it and po position it where you want in the video and of course it depends 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 on how you have shot your footage so work according to that and let's continue all right so when you have positioned and scaled it's up to your video preference let's go ahead and start making it look a bit more realistic, shall we? So first thing to do with this edge looks a bit sharp, so let's go ahead and take the rectangle tool and let's draw a little quick mask around the bottom of it. Let's change to subtract, yes, and go hit F on your keyboard to feather it out, just smoothen out the edge a bit, like this. So it's not that jerky 
that line over there. So the next thing to do is to give it a bit more like this holographic static noise because holographs are never so clean. So we need to make it a bit more realistic. How we do that, let's go ahead and take our holographic hologram static MOV file. And if you want it, you can have it down in the description, download it, use it however you want. But you can use any kind of static if you want or any kind of footage. So let's go ahead and put it on to your clip. And as you can see on the timeline, it's not long enough. How do we do that? How do we fix that? Let's go ahead and go to time, enable time remapping and just drag this as long as our hologram comp is. So that will make it a bit slower, but because it's static, we won't really see the difference. So what we then do is just change the green screen footage to luma mat and look at this what you have here is all that static noise um, information has transferred to our blue layer so if we're previewing this and look at this we, we're getting um, a pretty cool presentation of uh, our guy having all that static on our like on our body so Obviously, we haven't have not uh, like timed this really well yet, but that that's not the most important part. Um, but um, the important part is that we can now see that the, um, the statics are pretty harsh. It's it's really strong, and how to fix it is pretty easy. You just duplicate your uh, your green screen layer, which was um, parented or all aluminum matted to them. To the static, and let's just dupe, uh, like take down the opacity, just like a tiniest bit, just to make it a bit more subtle, the the effect right there. Okay, so that looks pretty cool already there, and let's go ahead and move to the next step to make it a bit more realistic, even though. All right, so next thing to do is to make the holographic movements a bit more realistic, a bit more robotic. So how do we do that? It's pretty, actually pretty simple. So let's go back to green screen footage tree, this comp. And first of all, let's go ahead and change the frame rate. So go to Command K or Control K to your composition settings, or you can go from your composition and composition settings and change the frame rate from 23, 25, 60, whatever you're filming at, to back to 12. And that will make the, uh, the movement a bit more hacky, jerky, and that looks a bit, more, a bit more robotic. Trust me, it looks pretty good. And if we go back here and you preview it, uh, so it will look a bit more nicer. So the next thing to do is to select uh, both your green screen footage, because now we got two, because we fixed the static strongness and let's go ahead and make it the movements a bit faster so let's go to time and time stretch and type in 75 percent just to speed it up just a tiniest bit just to make it a bit more faster and a bit more like this <laughs> works real great and makes it a bit more realistic all right the next thing to do what we can do is to create this cool glitchy uh, displacement thing to do and how do we do that it's actually not that hard so what do we do is take a screen glitch free stock footage.mp4 whatever it's called you can find it on youtube it's or download it from my description if you want it so how do we do that let's go ahead and put it underneath um our holo layers and how do we do this is we can go ahead and just keep in mind it have to be a bit bigger than your than your like your hologram and then you can turn it off by hitting the eye go to your green screen footage layer and type in displacement map so you just search for displacement and put displacement map onto your talent right there and then change the map layer to the screen glitch free stock footage. So that will do all this, uh, the glitchy movement information will be displaced on our talent there. So we will get this really glitchy look. And because it's five is a pretty harsh number. So what we do is just drop it down to one and two, for example, for the vertical and horizontal. So it's subtle, but it's still there. So that's pretty cool and that's really good. 
Okay guys, so next thing to do is to add a bit of a glow. So there's two things to do anymore. So one of them is glow. And how do we do that? Let's go ahead and first pre-compose everything here so they're not in the way. Pre-compose this called is just for example holo. So we have a nice, nice footage there. And let's go ahead and create a new solid. So hit command Y or control Y to get your solid settings. Type in glow because that's what we're going to create. So click OK and take your ellipse tool. We can close this down and try to find somewhere around our character right here. Something like that, that could be pretty good. And then we go ahead and type in F on your keyboard to get your feather prop and make this um, feather nicely. Take it to add mode because add is cool. And we can go back to mask expansion. Let's hit the M key so we can get a bit of a bit of a glow there. And then we can take down the opacity just for finishing touches. So that's a really nice goal, but let's go ahead and add a pretty cool, like realistic flicker to it. How do we do that? Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and type in T on our keyboard for opacity and hit Alt Watch. Alt click the stopwatch right there. Not command click, sorry. Alt click and type in wiggle, open bracket, five comma 10. So this is just the frequency how the opacity is changing for the comp. 5, 10 is a pretty low frequency, a pretty mild frequency there. But depending on your shot, depending on what look you're looking for, so you can make it a lot faster, like mine, a lot, you know, it just depends. So change all the values however you want. So now it will change pretty mildly this, this um, opacity. So one more thing to do is to create a reflection. How do we create a reflection? It's actually not that hard. Let's go ahead and duplicate our holo layer. So, and the, the under one, let's go ahead and hit our keyboard, R for rotation, type in 180 degrees like this, and then hit V on our keyboard to move it along somewhere around there, and go to layer, transform, and flip horizontal. So it matches our body's movement. So then it is just line it up, something right there. What we can do is go ahead and restrict it to the phone area so it's not like, you know, ending right there. So go hit G on your keyboard or hit the pen tool. Keep your whole layer selected and just make a fast mask around your phone screen if you're now using a phone. So it, then it doesn't come out of it and hit V on your keyboard and select away. Then it looks pretty cool. It's holographic and, you know, reflective. Take a flash blur effect and put it just on top of the whole layer just to match the screen blurriness like this because it blurs everything out in the reflections. Take down the opacity if you need to. I'll take down just a subtle amount. All right, that's pretty cool. Last thing we can do is to go ahead to your first holo layer and give it a bit more this techy blur, you know. So go fa find mosaic, one of my favorite effects in After Effects for techy stuff, drag it to your holo layer, it will make it completely boxy. Don't matter, we're gonna fix this. Uh, change the horizontal box to 400 times 400, and then we have a pretty unsharp, but still sharp, but in a techy way. So that looks pretty cool. And now we have created our advanced human hologram effect. Hope you guys like this so much. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Comment anything you wanna see in the next future videos down below because all my videos are created and suggested by you guys. So suggest and comment anything you want down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll guys see you in the next video. So my name is VK and I'll see you. Have a good one.